Okay, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're amazing at starting these. We're amazing, amazing at starting these. Amazing. Nobody on YouTube does it better. You're amazing. <laughs> I'm amazing. You're amazing. We're all fucking amazing. We're all amazing. amazing. We're all amazing. Hello, everyone. Hi. Hello. <laughs> um, okay, so as always, let's just go through our neurotic feelings and thoughts at the beginning of every show. Um, yeah, okay. So today, of course, everything can't go as planned. So you might notice that we are sharing something. What are we sharing, boys? And girls. <laughs> Actually, on that note, yeah. uh, we, we just really like to tell our mm. community about our community. So our last video, according to our producer daughter, 76.6% of our audience was male. And okay. after our last video, 90% of our audience is now male. That's a, th yes. When we started off with this idea, it didn't start off this way. No. We, no. It was for moms. <laughs> hence hence the name. <laughs> hence the name, right? Like, we thought we were going to really have a high female audience. Big time. I guess it's, like, I don't know. And I've asked so many of our guys on Instagram and on Facebook, the guys that communicate with us, we love you guys. Like, why do you like us? Like, what, do you, what about the show, like, keeps you here? Yeah. And the number one thing that people say, the first thing that they say <clears throat> is always, it's really nice to hear like women in their 40s just openly talking about sex. So, okay, there's that. Okay. And then the other thing they said is that on the internet, it feels like you get placed into like wokeisms or red pillisms, and which is like internet lingo. And then we're kind of like in the middle, like we don't have a place, which I love. Yes. I don't want to be boxed in. No. So I guess that's that's it. We love you guys. Yes. We love our male audience. Yay. Because it's our audience. Yay. It's really and the ten percent of bitches that stay around, we love you. You're probably actually our friends that are just yeah. trying to support us. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> just we love you, bitches. <laughs> okay, today. Yeah. We are talking How about exciting. kinks. And fetishes, because there is a difference. What's the difference? Okay, so. Oh. <laughs> here's the thing to remember. Um, I act like I'm professional. I'm just going on the internet and get stats, okay? Yeah, but um, which we love. Is all fetishes are kinks, but not all kinks are fetishes. And the reason for okay. that is that, um, actually, I, I'll, I'll read directly. I don't even need to be like, I'm so smart. I'm going to just read it. So here it is. So a kink is something that arouses you that is considered unconventional out or outside of the sexual norm. And then to dive even deeper into that, it literally is, it's actually like, ugh, ugh. basically mm. it is anything outside of like, I'll use like modern tech, like modern terminology, which is like cisgendered. So people who are straight, okay, okay fully straight, 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 and they enjoy vanilla sex. I would like to know what vanilla sex is. What is, what vanilla, is vanilla sex? What is, is vanilla it, sex? If you have doggy style sex, is that not vanilla sex? Because to me, that's vanilla sex still. I feel like any natural position your bodies can do together is vanilla sex. Maybe I'm a kinkster, but that's what I think. <laughs> <Maybe>. <laughs> but I don't think it is. I'm pretty sure it's like missionary, like basic, basic, basic. From what I think vanilla sex is, it's like, that's what it is like you're not really looking at each other you're just kind of like just doing it hmm that's kind of mean because i'm sure like because the, when i think of vanilla sex i'm thinking oh they have horrible sex but yeah maybe they actually like their vanilla sex so and should, we, should we throw her under the bus like we've made producer daughter do so many kink tests yeah. And every time, like there's one that you guys should all do online. It's so entertaining. It's like the biggest BDSM test mm, online that you can do. It is fun. Really like specific questions. Yeah. And if you go on it, choose like the longer option. And this girl got like, oh God, sorry, sorry, producer daughter. But all the tests she does, it's like you are 80 something percent vanilla. Yeah. And like when she talks about it, it's funny because so for her, she goes, I, those other things. Yeah. I just don't have feelings about them. Yes. She's like, like I'll do them, I guess, which is funny because 30% of people who 
um, have their partner open up to them about their kink, 30% of those people that participate in them don't actually want to participate in them. They're just doing it because they love their partner. Oh. Which is, I think, kind of nice. It's very nice. Yeah, like, as long as you're not, like, beating yourself down over it, if you're just kind of like, okay, I guess you really like my fucking feet. Here's my feet. You know what I mean? So 30% of those people don't share the same kink, but they'll participate in it anyways. I think that's kind of nice. No, it is. I've had some guys that aren't into feet, and I'm like, worship them. Yeah. Worship. And they're like, okay. Yeah. Because they know what they're going to get in the end. Right. So they, they're like, well, yeah. if I do this, yes. that, that equals that right. to equal. And it's nice Yoni to see, juice. like, if you... <laughs> Also, too, it's so nice to see somebody who you have feelings for receive pleasure. Well, um, amazing. You know? Isn't it? Okay. So then, a fetish is very different than a kink, okay? Okay. Like, it is. So a fetish, I got two different points to talk on. So a fetish is a sexual act, body part, or object that is almost always necessary for you to become aroused or enjoy sex. So let's say it is feet. Okay. Right? Yeah. If you are like looking to get aroused or you're like, like you're get those sexual, that sexual energy working. Yeah. Like a pair of titties isn't going to do it. You need to see a pair of feet. Like you need to. Is this like, okay. So my question to this is this. Is it getting off or is it like it needs to arousal you? Both. Both. Yeah. And then the other part of it is... There's a sexualization of something that is not like conventionally conventionally sexual by nature or like by social norms. Like give me an example. Uh, feet. Feet's like the perfect one. Ugh. I feel um, close to disgust with feet. Like I'm, I'm not the type of person that's like, oh, feet. But feet are grosser to me than they're not, not What's gross. the grossest thing on the body for you? Mouth. A mouth? Because I love statistics. The mouth is the, like really a dirty place. It's a dirty place. That's why I don't like kissing. I, I reserve kissing for the best kisses. <laughs> like this better like like this this better be the kiss. This better be like an immaculate kiss, like orgasmic kiss. I don't like kisses. It's just your mouth is full of germs. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's my answer. Like it or don't like it, that's my fucking answer. It's a weird answer. It's my answer. You're a weirdo. I know. And everybody thinks I'm a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> like, hello. <laughs> so yes, that's okay. the difference. So that's why every fetish is a kink. Every fetish is a kink. Like, some of the craziest ones of like, uh, there are some crazy fetishes out there. We talked about this one time in one of our shows. <laughs> yeah. Because I was the most, I'm super. I, what was it that you said it, there was, what was that one? It's the one I was talking about. She was, she she only had sexual feelings towards this one Ferris wheel. Oh, yeah. And it was this British lady. And she would literally like be like. Would she hump it? <laughs> she would kiss it? Kiss the Ferris wheel. Like, would she like rub her yoni yes. on it? girl in my class when I was younger. I just like can sense her at <laughs> She would like, if she had, it was like the corner desk oh, no. here. And she would literally, as the class is no. going, bless her, she'd be rubbing her yoni. Like yes. how old were you-ish? Eight, nine? Oh shit. Yeah. She, she, she was a yoni rubber So in now public. when she sees desks, she's like, the lip bite. I don't know. Maybe. But I felt a little jealous. I was going to say, how did you feel about this? I felt I felt jealous because I liked, I liked rubbing my yoni too. And I'm like, why does she get to rub her yoni and I don't get to do it? Well, I'm glad you Jeez. didn't. <laughs> so that's, that's the main difference between kinks and fetishes. Okay. So a fetish, you need <clears throat> it. Need, need it. Need it. And it can need become it. like, it can also become like really detrimental in people's lives too, where kinks don't really take over your life as much. I, I watched this one show one time and it was about people who have deep fetishes with latex. It was really crazy. I saw this one guy and he was in this a kind of a new relationship and he said he was always like really afraid to like show the latex to like partners he was kind of like at that three month mark with. Okay. But he felt like it was a necessity because they were also like, what's going on? Like, this yeah. sex is weird, right? And then he would be like, well, I can only, like, feel sexual when I'm in this zip-up latex suit. Oh, my God. 
So this is what I'm saying that yeah. the fetishes can get it get in the way. way and this is why I was saying like deep exploration. You're like you're uh, that's stagnant that's, energy. That's what I'm saying. That's fucking that's stagnant what I'm saying. energy. I sent you a message the other day. Remember when I was like, I'm glad I don't have a fetish controlling <laughs> my life <laughs> because that's how I feel. I would feel that way. I would be like, no. I, would, I don't have a fetish uh, controlling my life. Right? No. I think a no. lot of people think they have fetishes, but they have kinks. Okay, guys. I, I can kind of say guys and not feel weirdly sexist about that. Hey, okay, guys slash 10% gals. <laughs> so, um, as always, Canadian stats are abysmal. And I-, I cannot find anything. So, I'm going to just declare it North American stats. So one in four North Americans in a relationship have a secret act that they would like to try with their partner, but are too afraid to bring They're it up. They're shy. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I hate Isn't that. Isn't that the interesting thing? Like, <clears throat> okay. I, I hate, I don't say the word, I don't say the H word, but I H that. <laughs> I like, H that. Really big. <laughs> lovers no let's change that but I, let's change that i feel like even in my own relationship in which i have like really good communication skills with my partner yeah i feel like i've it, i feel like in the you past feel a bit shy it's not shy i feel like like i think i was afraid of making him feel like inadequate mm. i feel like it's just it's not so much that I was nervous about bringing something up. It was that I didn't want to bring something up and have him be like, well, kind of like the uh, the people who 37% yeah. that participate in something. But it also depends if it's like, oh, worship my feet. Or it's like, uh, zip me up in my latex suit. <laughs> like, I, and then suck <laughs> my cock. But you can't see me. You only see my cock and in latex. And it was latex. a black latex suit, too. Yeah. In the dark, he must just disappear. Yeah. And then his cock's just hanging out. <laughs> so, yeah, it was more that, like, I don't want... I didn't want my partner to feel, like, weirdly inadequate or feel, like, pressured to, like, do what I wanted. Okay. So, for me, it was more about that. It was, like, I didn't... I didn't want to put something on them that they felt they had to do something with, even though I really did want him to do something with it. I didn't... Yeah. I didn't want to infuse him with that kind of pressure. Does that make sense? Yeah. And also, too, sometimes we think things in our fantasies are better in our fantasies, you know? You know, Dr. Alex. Yeah. My therapist. So, okay, I'm going to I'm gonna tell a little story <coughs> here. And it has to do with the fantasy. Yeah. So, after I, I, I quit, when I quit drinking, I was going through my divorce, I boxed and I went to a Buddhist temple mm-hmm. in Wimbledon. In the Is that UK. when you shaved off all your hair? That's No, I shaved off my hair when I came back to Canada. Okay, okay. okay. And then <laughs> I started seeing a therapist named Dr. Alex. So, the first couple times I meet him, I'm like, okay, he's a nice guy. And he was handsome, yeah. a little bit shorter. He was cute, right? Sounds like your type. And then, you know, I was... I wanted to test him. Okay. So I walked barging in there and I said, After how many sessions? Second, third. This was the third session. Third session. Okay. Third session. And I barge in and I'm like, Dr. Alex, I have something to tell you. And he's like, Well, can it not wait until after the session? Oh, he's British? Right. He's British. And I was like, No, I need to tell you now. And he goes, Okay, then. I'm like, Last night I masturbated and I thought about you. And like, <laughs> what are you, what are you gonna do now, hey, Doctor Alex? Oh what are you God. gonna do now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, uh, "Are you finished? Can we get on with the session?" And I was like, <sighs> and then he said, "At the end, yeah, at the end of the session, he goes, Crystal, sometimes fantasies are left better fantasies." Ah, right. Ah. Okay, so Tom. I'm gonna I'm gonna read this one directly because Cut. it's a bit specific. Um, so 51% of people need at least a month, at least a month, okay, <laughs> to bring up their fetish to, a, a, like, a new partner. Okay. I would say that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. So I could, <clears throat> I could see that. Like, it depends what kind of ball you want to drop. Like, if it's nothing. <sighs> okay. Oh, some guy. Yeah. Okay. So on my Bumble profile. Yeah. I chatted with this one gentleman, and on my profile it says, "I won't judge your your kinky, oh, kinky thoughts." Right? Okay, nice. And 
he's like, so what? Uh, I, also I, opening Pandora's box with of that comment. Of course I am. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. and he's like, can I tell you my 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 kink? And okay. I said, sure, of course you can. I'm going to start a Bumble account and say that just so people message me their kinky thoughts. I know. And he goes, I like it up the ass. Mm, I was yeah. like, well, that's amazing, sir. <laughs> I thought it was going to be more exciting. So did I. I know. So I'm did I. Really sorry to disappoint everybody. Because that's just like, um, if you go back to what episode was it? Our adult toys. Um, if you go back to that episode, yeah. you will see that bum play. It's is absolutely dominating the online toy market, and I'm sure it's dominating Corn Hub as well. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right, Crystal. This is going to be equally challenging for me as it is for dear Crystal. We're going to play a little, we're going to play a little sex game here. A little, a little kinkster game. I have found a website that gives the scientific names for the various, some various fetishes in which there are thousands upon thousands. Okay. But I'm going to just put this out there into the world. They're very scientific names. So everyone's going to have to endure me attempting to say these names. Okay, so I'm going to say the fetish. Okay. And Crystal's going to have to guess it. A gal metaphilia. A gal that's meant to feel you. <laughs> okay. So it is mannequins. The attractions. Oh. The mannequins. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just leave that one. We just know somebody. Okay, this one's my fucking Okay. Okay. Hobophilia. Hobo. <laughs> you know what it is. Okay. It's well, what you think it is. Okay. So I. Okay. Is I this might have a story time. I'm it scared. Is, I might have this fetish. I was driving in. You might have this kink. Sorry, kink. Yes, kink. This she kink. does not need to have sex with homeless men. <laughs> Listen, I met I met a homeless man in Toronto. He was really. His name was Jeremy. Actually, no. Fuck. Tiny Tuna? What was his name again? Um, anyways, we're driving and this gentleman comes up and I was like, gives him, I give him some money. And then he comes closer and I was like, wow, you've got really a beautiful eyes. I said, mm-hmm. what's your name? And he was like, oh, thanks for asking my name. He's like, you know, I've been on the streets for blah, blah. I drive off and I looked at the girls and I said, I don't know. He works hard. He's good. But he's, he's, he lives outside. He's got his own home. Rent for a mortgage free. I was like, I think I think I might date this guy. I might have a hobophiliac. <gasps> so that's what it is. People that want to have sex with the homeless. They need to. They need to. They need to. These are okay. fetishes. Okay. Yeah. Kinks. Fetish. Like imagine though you're like, imagine that you live in a small town where there's no homeless people. But you wouldn't. You be, if you have that kink. But what if you're like an 18 year old living with your parents? Because you have to drive into the city. What if you're a man? It's probably pretty, it's a lot harder to find homeless women. Oh God. I, my mind's going to all kinds of awful places. I don't, <laughs> I'm moving on from this. <laughs> you're going to like this one. Axolism. Ax. Axolism? Axe, like an axe, like axolism. So knives? Okay, so that's your guess? Yes, that's my guess. It's wanting to have sex with people's armpits. Oh. <laughs> Imagine you're with somebody and you fucking love them. Okay. And and they're like, listen, listen, the reason why sex has been really weird with me since this whole like six months we've known each other is because I don't like having sex with anything but armpits. Like, oh, that would be so hard. Imagine if you really love that person too. No, hang on. I'm I'm getting creative here in my mind. I'm like... With your beautiful okay. homeless man. Yes. <laughs> he was really handsome. So if you're sitting on a chair, right? A chair, his cock's hard, right? The chair, he can come in and get some action and you can like kind of look up at him like this. So he's like, we're, we're. Come on, stick a thing in there. Let's do it. Action. Right? Yeah, yeah. And you're like, oh, yeah, you're such a good boy. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, guys. Here we go. Wish me luck. Climaco... Okay, climaco... No, climacophiliacs. It's climate of- change. Like a pressure. They they like mm. pressure. I like that guess, but <laughs> it's the best fucking answer ever. 
it is the arousal of seeing somebody fall down the stairs and apparently the longer the fall the more aroused they get (laughs) so there you go if you guys know of any other hilarious ones i beg you to put them down in the comments all right we're gonna play a game guys okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna link this little test that we're doing and you all can do it too okay all right first question okay where would be your favorite place to have sex Okay, my favorite place is definitely my own bedroom. Did you pick it? Yes. The shoe shop? Yes. Why are there all no, these? No, little... you got a screenshot. So you didn't. Did, yes. Where? Look where? It, right oh, there. Oh, yours is at the top. Mine's a are different. Sh- shoe shop. Okay, perfect. Okay. All right. Number two. You read it. What's your favorite part? Ooh, what a good question. Of sexual encounter? Mm, I don't even want to look at the answers. I like that question. Away from the door. I've seen how much your partner wants me. Ooh, I like that one. Death. Can you pick more I than one? I know. Wine? These are good. Yeah. Feeling fully in the moment and losing yourself. I'm going to give it that one. That's probably my favorite part because it feels like drugs. Okay. And then we are going to do... Um, Which one did you pick again? Mm, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting caught. It? Yeah, where is it? Where is getting caught? Ooh. Which word suits the sex you enjoy the best which word best which suits words? the sex you enjoy best surreal i'm gonna go i'm gonna go surrender yeah that's that is you yeah you do fully surrender i'm gonna do that choose a form of seduction foreplay so dirty talk mm. wearing lingerie and waiting for your partner to come home. Ooh, nice strip. Dude, these are all good. And they're all amazing. Sending nudes, light spanking or tickling, watching porn together and telling them what you want. A sensual mm. foot massage. Ooh, I love foot <laughs> massages. <gasps> I need a foot massage soon, gentlemen. Who wants to rub my feet? Hey, our last video got like 20,000 views. I'm <clears> sure <throat> there'll be somebody out there who wants to rub your feet. <laughs> Really, if it's like a daily thing, it really is me wearing lingerie and waiting for a partner to come. I think I'll go with sending nudes. Okay. What's your ultimate bedroom accessory? Oh, love eggs. No, a paddle or whip. Nope. Crush it. I'm go- killer heels. Killer heels. Heels all the way. I think I'm going to go with paddle or whip. Okay. Cal goes paddle or whip. We do our trees. What do you fantasize about? Okay, I'll answer first. Yeah. Having someone tell me how to please them. That's what I'm picking. I knew you were going to pick that one. I've already done wearing high heels. I think I yeah, need to you gotta, I know, yeah. I gotta move. Or else you're going to get straight foot fetish. Yeah, someone doing exactly what I ask. Oh my God, it's the opposite of mine. I know. Okay, baby, we are on a fucking roll. Oh. Okay, we got our answers. We got our oh. answers. Oh, Short, short answers. Okay, what's what's okay. what's your what's your kink? Well, my kink is <laughs> foot play. What okay, is mine is saying? submission. Yes. Um, you are more comfortable in a sub position, getting off on the idea of your partner telling you exactly how to please them. I'm not going to tell you guys if that's accurate or not, but it's an answer. <laughs> so okay, so do you feel like that was accurate? Yeah. I we got to get yeah. producer daughter to do that. I wonder like what they would what would happen okay Okay, so there you go that is our episode about kinks and fetishes thank you for that was fun that was fun okay fuckers we're going we're going see you next week oh let's do some youtuber shit subscribe because like we have a zillion people watching these videos and we've got an amazing 400 and something subscribers but we're greedy motherfuckers and we want all the subscribers yes we do and I think we're gonna start doing some stuff like uh some stuff on social media where you can win like if you do some fun stuff for us yeah. you get a little mug and i'm gonna create some other little fun little trinkets mm-hmm. that i think so everybody will love we got now that we're sort of starting to find our groove and whatnot we'll yeah. have a lot of fun shit coming your way yeah but that's yes. it we got lives we got shit to do i got a football practice to go to motherfuckers i gotta go yeah. okay we love, love you. you actually though we do we, <laughs> really, we really do love you <laughs>